A metropolitan police officer who killed a woman whilst doing twice the speed limit in response to a knife gang call has been cleared by the police watchdog. PC Gary Watkinson was racing at 62 miles per hour in a 30 miles per hour zone to reports of a woman being threatened with a knife by a group just before 10 p.m. on August 13, 2019, when he struck and killed Jade Mutua on Warwick Road in Kensington. At 9.54 p.m., the 22-year-old from West Hampstead entered the road next to a parked Land Rover Freelander and was hit by PC Watkinson's car at 53 miles per hour, according to the Independent Office for Police Conduct IOPC. She sustained serious injuries and, despite the efforts of officers who gave her first aid at the scene, she died in hospital two days later. An inquest, which ended on October 12th at Westminster Coroner's Court, found the aspiring social worker died as a result of a road traffic accident. Now, an IOPC investigation, which looked at the actions of police officers before the collision and the first aid they gave at the scene, has concluded those involved acted in accordance with the relevant policies and procedures. The watchdog examined an MPS forensic collision report which found the PC. Watkinson responded in 0.6 seconds, allowing him to slow down from a maximum of around 62 miles per hour to 53 miles per hour when Miss Mutua was hit. Research studies suggest most normal road drivers, under test conditions, are able to respond to an unexpected hazard in 0.7 to 1.5 seconds, with 0.7 considered extremely swift. IOPC Regional Director Charmaine Arbuin said, My thoughts and sympathies are with Miss Mutua's family, friends and all those affected by her untimely and tragic death, including the officers involved. Our investigation found no indication that any Metropolitan Police Service officers behaved in a manner that would justify the bringing of disciplinary proceedings or had committed a criminal offense. However, we did identify the need for the Metropolitan Police to provide radio batteries which will last the duration of an officer's full shift. On this occasion, the officers had to return to their police vehicle in order to send a radio message to other units. Following the collision, an IOPC spokesperson added, As part of our investigation, IOPC investigators attended the scene and conducted a detailed examination. A number of witness statements were taken from police officers and members of the public. CCTV footage and police officers' body-worn camera footage was analyzed and compared, along with a download from the police vehicle's incident data recorder. Jade's dad, Germain, who waited for years for the inquest to conclude, previously told my London his daughter's innocent life was tragically and violently ended. Jade's stepmom, Mina Agipong, said at the time of her death, she was a beautiful, fun-loving 22-year-old who had her whole life ahead of her. All her family are devastated. We're absolutely heartbroken. Jade has gone. The family have set up the The Jade Mutua Foundation Trust, which provides help to disadvantaged young people living in London, allowing them to access education, training, and employment opportunities.